can any man forbid water? Acts chapter 10, verse 47. Can any man forbid water? For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Yeshua made and baptized more disciples than John. And John also was baptizing in Aonon near to Salem because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized. I repeat, can any man forbid water? That these should not be baptized which have received the Holy Spirit as well as we. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, see... Here is water. What do have hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Yeshua Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water. Both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. Special note, beware of those preaching, teaching against water baptism. You have to answer for yourself, and your soul is on the line. Our Lord and Savior told the Pharisee Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teach of you of all things, and is truth and is no lie. And even as it have taught you, ye shall abide in him. And now why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. You understand? Therefore, do know that water baptism is required for salvation. Beware of those who say anything contrary or anything different.